Okay, so for those of you who have been around for the past few weeks um, following the adventure that's actually been going on for almost a year, uh, I opted for a hard left and instead of a boat, I bought an Airstream like six hours ago. So I'd love to take you on a tour of Chateau Bohem. And uh, she's brand, brand spanking new. I have zero on here. Uh, here she is. So right upon entry, uh, we walk in. I bought myself a little uh, black stone that I, I'm now regretting. It's fine. Uh, so walk right into the galley. We've got a nice little, uh, what do they call that? Farm sink, I guess. And then, um, Good storage here. We got our trash bin and then love, love, love that the drawers are behind a door. So that way, if they do slide out, like ideally double protection, look at that little organizer. And then just an empty drawer, more storage. And then, um, super cool. We have spice rack pantry whatever you want to call it. And then more storage up here. And then over the sink is all of this. And then we'll come up high over the stove. Same thing, nice and spacious. And then for our stove here, we have a three burner cooktop. So that's super fun. And then coming down into a confection oven and then more storage dog food and water for sister continuing in the galley we have the fridge fairly spacious situation and then um freezer I, oops whoops sorry again fairly spacious and then that's just logistical stuff. And then directly coming in the door across from the galley is our salon. So just a nice little U shape. Lots of, I don't understand my camera. Just let it happen, okay? We don't, just let it be. We have some below storage on each side. And then I think somebody said in the center, but I don't think that's true. And then this center table drops down as a second bed. And then we have more storage. Handy dandy. They got rid of that terrible Blu-ray situation. So now you can just connect directly with your phone if you want to stream something. I do have a few things up here like, oh, to kill the mosquitoes. And then the blackout shades that drop down instead of the old school blinds. So from the door to the port side when you walk in is the head. And y'all, it's a little overly spacious. I'm not gonna lie. It's a little dramatic, but you know, we love the drama. That's my view right now. There's the dog park. Oh my God, a dog is literally taking a poop while we're filming. Oh, but it's a little GSP. Sage, your cousin's out here. Anyways, um, speaking of <laughs> the potty, I'm too short my feet were dangling. So I'm gonna have to add a step stool so I can go potty. Anyways, here's the light for the bathroom and then water heater, it's tankless. So hot water on demand. And then I, that's where I'll, my panel to check all the levels. And then we have one of the largest showers I have ever been on in an Airstream. So very spacious, super tall, like tall people, you are welcome here. And then it even has a bench. Kind of hard to see. But, and I super love like the soap rack with the bars. That would be nice. So from the head, galley to the port, salon to the starboard, walking, walking, walking. Here we have a full size closet. Good storage. Uh, I've already brought a vacuum. It's who I am, let it be. And um, what I would call decorative storage. I'm not sure what one would put in there. Maybe cookie sheets, very narrow, whatever. And then we have some twin beds with the cutest baby ever. Look at her. 
she's been a trooper all day. She is ready to go home though. Um, so extra long twins with the TV, it can pull out and flip around. So that way in the salon, you can watch TV and then overhead storage, even more. Then it has built in nightstand with storage and then second bed, half closet over here. I guess a normal person would turn their lights on before they did this. I'm not normal. There we go. Not sure if that helps. And then below the bed on each side is pull out storage. So there's like a drawer that drops and then bins. And I've already added more pillows because I didn't realize I was getting pillows. Terrible footage. Y'all are probably nauseous now. And that's it. That is the new camp. Oh, and a little plush toy for Sage Amelia. The salesman was super sweet. So this is it. This is Chateau Bohem. This is the new dream. I say new dream, but actually um, one of my friends pointed out, like I've been camping my whole life. So she was like, it's not a new dream. It's just a different dream than the boat. Um, just a continuation of the life I've lived. So um, I'm currently in the oh crap moment of like, what have I done? Mind you, I did good math. Pretend I lost my job tomorrow. Like, okay, I move in here. I can afford it. Um, but I'm still having the what have I done moment. Um, she towed great. My truck is 20 years old, but she's like over 2,000 pounds lighter than tow capacity. So once she's weighed down, it'll be about 1,000 pounds. Um, but is it pounds? I don't know that quite unit of measurement. The camper dry is 5,000. The truck is 7,000, whatever those units are. But yeah, it's going to be fine. It's going to be better than fine. It's going to be the adventure of a lifetime, which I've already had so many, but I'm currently, I struggled to back her in. My friend's husband assisted. He spent all day with me, true champ. I was gonna make a mistake dinner when I thought this was like a two hour event and it turned into a seven hour event. So I don't know, I, I don't know what I gotta make this man to make up for it. But I do know that the backing in is I'm gonna, I need more help. But you know, I needed a lot of help when I first started learning the boat and I still need a lot of help with the boat. So maybe we just surround ourselves with people who are happy to help. I don't know, but here we go. What I do know is Sage and I would love for you to join us as we figure out what we're doing with this camper, where we're going, and how we are gonna see the world. Eh, the world that's connected by land. So there's my first tow, and I'm just excited for y'all to come along for the ride with Chateau Bohem. Oh, P.S. Chateau is on point. My house was Chateau Marie. My apartment is the mini Chateau. And now we have Chateau Bohem. Because this is the beginning of a Bohemian life. I look forward to seeing you on our next adventure.